I took the Rivian R1T to an articulation ramp to see if, uh, how the lockers might work to address this debate. Now, the reason that I'm taking this debate to this forum is uh, you might recall a video where I was trying to get out of uh, this uh, water trap here. And uh, you can see the back tire spinning, but the front one was not spinning some of the times. And uh, that happened on both sides. And as we thought more about you know, what was going on here, and you know, why isn't the front spinning or trying to get more traction, we thought, why not take it to an articulation ramp and get a closer look? Huh. What? Which tire is spinning? So weirdly, so that tire is spinning, the back one, and this tire, but this... Driver's side or passenger's side? Passenger's side on the front, driver's side on the rear. Can you show that on the video? I just, yeah, I filmed it. Uh, you can try it again really quickly, but I... We tried it in different modes from rock crawl to off-road rally and different settings just to see if we could get a different outcome. Yeah, same, same wheels again. Okay. The suspension is pretty loaded in the front and extended in the back, as you can see, and that sort of plays a role. It's time for us to give up on the articulation ramp. We did eventually get out uh, of the water trap with a little bit of momentum and traction boards. And I have had a great time off-roading the R1T. And as long as you've got a little bit of momentum, uh, you can see my video on three-wheeling and other off-roading. Uh, but the articulation ramp, what do you guys think? Do we need some type of electronic locker or some ability to give power to the wheels where we want more traction? Let me know what you think in the comments.